Good morning, good morning, good morning, Facebook. Man, you know, each week I just be like, you know what? This is literally the best week of crazy faith ever. Now, I'll be the first to admit when I found out that Mike Todd wasn't going to do all the sermons, I really thought that I wasn't going to watch the ones that he wasn't on. But that man, he 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 made sure that we getting fed either way it goes, which is awesome, okay? So, in case you don't know, I'm not sure what rock you've been under, but I need you to get out from under it. Um, I'm talking about the Crazy Faith series at uh, Pastor Mike Todd's church, right? Um, Transformation Church. So, um, Pastor Charles... Metcalf, I think it was, spoke um, the word on Sunday. And, you know, he was talking about, uh, you know, in the book of Mark, I believe it is, in the 10th chapter, how um, Bartimaeus was, you know, the blind man or whatnot, and how he was calling out to uh, Jesus or whatever. And, you know, everybody was trying to tell him, be quiet, yo, shut up, bro. Like, stop, stop calling him. And so, you know, uh, God answered or whatnot, and he was just like, yeah. And so he was like, what you want? You know, what is it that you want? And so, um, it's funny how sometimes, you know, God has to, you know, we try to act like God don't already know. But he just want to know if we're going to be able to say what we want. And, you know, he said, I want it to be healed. I'm, you know, I want my eyes to be able to see. So his topic was stating faith, right? So, um, y'all, when I tell you the thing was just powerful, like when I say it was just for me, it was just for me. I think all of them are just for me, but, you know, y'all might get something out of it too. It's hence why I tell you to watch it yourself because all I'm telling you is like my key points, but the whole thing be good, but I can't put the whole thing on here because I'll be here forever and I'll be extremely late for it. So he was talking about stating faith, right? So one thing he said was, uh, crazy faith is not crazy until you start stating faith. And he was saying, you know, it can't be um, crazy if it's just in your journal. First of all, nobody asked him to come for my neck like that. Because God knows I put a lot of stuff in writing. And I'll be like, all right, God, I'm going to put it in my Bible. And I'm going I'm to leave it there. He was like, you know, you can't keep doing that. You got to start speaking those things. He was like, how are you going to have crazy faith when don't nobody know but you and God? <laughs> Come on, somebody. He ruled for that. But, you know, I, I get it, though. I, I definitely get it. Um, So he was saying, you know, the power of life and death is in the tongue, not in your thoughts. It's, it's, it's in your tongue. So you got to state that thing. You got to start speaking out there. Um. Speaking out the things that you want, speaking out the things that you desire from God, stated. You know, by the way, he stated that he wanted to see. He stated it. He didn't think it. You know, of course, God knows our thoughts. But sometimes he just waiting on us to have faith and state it and say what it is that we desire from him. Stop saying or thinking things and not stating things like it's. Whew. Yeah, that was for me. That was for me. Um. So he was saying, uh, hold up. Oh, so he said the power of life and death is not in your thoughts. So until you start speaking things out there, we're all out. There will always be some things that should be dead that you are allowing to live because you haven't spoken to them yet. And in the other categories, there will be things that should be alive, but you won't speak life into it. That thing was who. <laughs> And he was saying, you know, when you start speaking things out of your mouth, the narrative can change. And he was like, you know, he was going back, you know, about Bartimaeus. Like, Do you really think that Jesus didn't know what Bartimaeus wanted? No, he just wanted him to state it. And then he was talking about, you know, be careful of the things that you state. And, you know, he's like, you know, we call on God. He's like, just like when somebody calls your name, um, when they call your name, Sade, I'm going to look and see, hey, what's up? You're going to respond. So, you know, when you call God, God, I need this. God, I need that. God, I want this. God, I desire that. Expect God to respond. And then he went into the book of Exodus. Exodus, when, um, I should have wrote that part. When God says, my name is I am. 
or whatnot. And um, he was saying, you know, tell the people that the I am sent you or whatnot. And so he was saying um, so many times we say I am not knowing, you know, that's another name for God. So he's turning around and saying, huh, what are you putting at the end of your I am? Because that's what you're calling God for. You know, I'm, ooh, I am tired. God's like, okay, so you're tired. All right, I'm broke. You know, he was like, God's turning around when you say I am, but then you're saying I am broke. I am tired. I am all of these things. So he's going to leave you there because you, you called me and I turned to see what do you want. And you're saying that. So he was like, you know, change your vocabulary. Now, the man was just... He's just all in my Kool-Aid and I didn't even ask him to be, but you know, it's all good. I ain't even tripping on it at all. And so he put a list of things on the screen, right? So he was like, change your I am statements, you know? So when you're saying I am, you're calling on God is what I'm saying. And what is it that you're asking God for? So he put up, uh, I am a child of God. I am courageous. I am healed. I am set apart. I am worthy. I am a masterpiece. I am loved. I am chosen. I am anointed. I am victorious. I am holy. I am free. I am whole. I am confident. I am secure. I am empowered. I am loved. Again, I am a temple. I am worthy. I am, I can't see the last one, but those things was good. So, you know, when I and then he made you say it twice. At first, and I was sitting there just looking at it. And I thought about, like, <laughs> you're not even getting the message because, you know, he just sat up here and stated that you need to state your faith. State your faith. Talk your faith. And I'm still thinking it. And it's, <sighs> that's just me. So I started saying those things. And, you know, chills just started coming through my body. I'm like, ooh, that feel good. It feel good to say I am worthy. I am confident. I am anointed. I am loved. I am. Change your words today. Change. That's all I'm saying. Change your words today. Words have power. Remember that when you say I am, you're calling on God. So whatever it is that you need from him, declare it in that moment. I, I am rich, you know, and rich could just be more than just money, guys. Like people, so many people say rich and money. I think of rich like in all over okay rich in blessings rich in his anointing rich in his in his presence like i i just want to be rich in christ that's it that's that's all i ask is that i be rich in christ so when i tell y'all that state and faith thing was good oh yeah it was definitely good okay <clears throat> like i'm gonna be sad when 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 he done like i really am like i, I don't want him to be done with this like i really am if you're not watching Crazy Faith Series, I'm telling you, you are missing it. Go to YouTube, Google, cr um, search Crazy Faith. I don't care what you do. Just just watch it. Like, we're on part 15, and he's going to the end of the year with this. This thing will definitely bless you. I guarantee it. I promise you, you will not be the same after watching it. I got so many people watching it now. We talk and they be like, man, yeah, I'm telling you, it's going to bless you the same way. Don't slip. Don't slip. Don't miss out on it. Don't miss out on it, man. You want your faith to grow? You want to get more closer to God? This is it. I'm telling you, I promise you, you, you won't even regret it. You'll be just like me every week waiting on them to uh, post the sermon so that you can watch it because, you know, I be in church when they doing the live, but I'm going to watch it when they post it so yeah state in faith state those things state it state it state it speak it out loud stop just writing it in your journal speak it out loud what is it that you want from god what is it that you desire from god speak it claim it declare it I, mm, that thing was good all right y'all i gotta get out of here remember y'all god loves you so do i Mwah.